Hello there, I'm Jim Glover, that brand new guy for One Today Marketing. Today is Recon Thursday, and I'm going to take a look at the brand immortality of legendary runner Steve Prefontaine. For those of you that don't recognize the name Steve Prefontaine, you're probably not a runner. His nickname is Pre, and Steve Prefontaine was one of the greatest long distance runners ever in the history of America, and he died tragically in 1975 in Eugene, Oregon. He had come to the University of Oregon and was a front runner. He had guts beyond anybody else out on the track. He was an NCAA champion, and he also was at the 1972 Olympics, where he fought Lassie Varum for first place, and at the very end, ended up getting fourth. It was one of the greatest runs probably ever in the 5,000 meters in Olympic history. Bowerman, Bill Bowerman, the coach of University of Oregon, started creating this waffle sole for new kind of running shoes, and he let Steve Prefontaine run in these shoes to test them out. Well, that became the soles that were used to create the shoes eventually for the company Nike. So Steve Prefontaine was even involved in that. And like I said, unfortunately, at age 24, he died tragically. But it's in interesting to note that his legendary running is still alive in the brand all these years later. Part of what makes Pre's brand so immortal and his running so legendary is that many of his records still stand today. And at the recent Olympic trials, Galen Rupp in the 5,000 meter finally beat his 1972 Olympic trials record. So it stood for 40 years. Also, because of his ties with, with Bill Bowerman in the early days of Nike, Nike continues to promote Steve Prefontaine as one of its all-time heroes. And so if you are a runner and you like Nike, you definitely know about Steve Prefontaine. Then, of course, because he went to the University of Oregon, and Eugene is Tracktown USA, they still promote his experiences and his life while in Eugene, Oregon, and all of the great accomplishments he had at Hayward Field, which I've mentioned earlier blogs, probably the premier track venue in all of the United States. If you are a runner and you ever visit Eugene, Oregon, I recommend that you visit what's called Pre's Rock. And this is the place in Eugene where, unfortunately, he was killed in a car accident. But there's a monument there, and if you're looking for inspiration, you'll find it because people's medals from races, their bib numbers, notes, sayings, their running shoes, people still pay homage to this man. And I have to admit, of all the people out there, he's probably my hero, too. Be sure to join us tomorrow when we wrap up our series on the U.S. Olympic trials by looking at the digital age and how it impacted social media and the ability to deliver the results to interested people all over the world. If you're looking for branding support, please contact me to discuss an online or face-to-face -face service engagement. You can find that information at the end of this video. I'm Jim Glover, that branding guy for Once a Day Marketing, and we'll see you next time.